How long have you been playing and what position do you play? Uh, my name is Ryan. I'm a centre back, I'm 18, second year of college. Um, I've been playing football 10, 10, 15 years, since I was probably like five, six. I play striker. Uh, I've been playing for all my life, I've been playing since I was like six years old. Yeah, football is like all I've really been doing, to be honest. What brought you down there today? And I was just randomly scrolling through Instagram and I saw it uh, on my feed. I was like, yeah, let me check it out because it looked like something serious, something that I'd want to get into. Well, one of the coaches, he came to our school and he told us about this. And the yeah, I, was, I liked America. I think that it's a good opportunity, so I wanted to come down and just show what I've got and that's it. Yes, everybody, right now, we're on the way to a trial day at one of our clients, Upnext Academy. We help them with their paid traffic as well as their client acquisition. This is a football agency that helps kids from the UK go to America on football scholarships. In fact, from all over the world go to America on scholarships. It's actually the first one that they're doing, so I felt inclined not only to see the shirts, which will have a sponsor that you'll be familiar with, but also to get an opportunity for the kids to get footage to show coaches over in America so to actually help them make sure that they can get access to the best schools which is what Upnext Academy pride themselves on. What would you say are some of the challenges you face on your journey to pursuing your career? Uh, mainly injuries, mainly injuries really. I had a really big injury, only came back five months ago. Um, been out for like a year, a year and a bit. Yeah, I'm just getting back into it now. Cameron Jake. go back, you know, way back, uh, secondary school times. Known him for a long time now. And for me, my business is very centred around my own personal journey. I grew up in London, um, at about 16 years old. I went out to the States to have an opportunity to, to play sports at a high level, but also, you know, have the opportunity to get an education. And that's exactly what the US provides. Off the back of that, I set up Up Next Academy, which seeks to help you know talented student athletes from the UK go out to the States to go and get themselves. How, how many and how many people have you helped? Since 2020, we've helped about 140 oh. clients or so. So, so 140 people, so that's 140 lives changed. This basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and in all fairness, you know those aren't all UK clients. We've got people from the UK, we've got people from the US, we've got people from Asia, Africa. You know, we've been working kind of across the globe. First things first, from me, I want to thank all you guys for coming. I want to thank your parents for bringing everybody. Obviously, it's great to have this event. It's a great opportunity for you guys. As we said, the video is going to be going. Coaches are going to get an opportunity to see this, right? So make sure that you're giving it your all, trying your best. Um, and at the end of the day, we've got a UEFA A and UEFA Pro coach here today, right? So they know what they're doing. They're going to get a very, very good session. They're going to get you set up to be in a position to be successful. Just try your best and you're going to have a great opportunity to showcase yourselves, right? I'm, I'm really excited and I hope that you guys are too, yeah? As Cam said, there's a lot of people, especially in London and across the UK that have the opportunities, you know, at the youth level to play football. But once you hit 18 years old, if you're not a pro, there's nothing really for you, right? Mm. So that's where the US comes in. It gives yeah. you that opportunity to take that next step at the university level and not kind of have to give it up. Because yeah, you know, you can go to uni, you can kind of play non-league and whatnot. But as you all know, the vast majority of people, they don't do that. They just kind yeah. of end up falling out of the game. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what we help people not do. How do you deal with competition within a team and what do you do to turn it into a positive force in your game? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, competition is good for you. You don't want to be in a team where no one's really pushing you. So if you've got players that are pushing you, at the end of the day, it's just going to make you a better player because I, I don't want to lose my number at the end of the day. So yeah, I want to play better. What makes Agnes Academy special? First things first is that it's super easy for anyone to jump on a camera and promise you the world, right? It's super easy for people to jump on a call with you and promise you the world. There's a lot of different agencies that can say, oh, we're connected here, there and everywhere. But at the end of the day, I'm quite fortunate where, because I went out to the US at 16 years old and I played at some of the best schools in the country, you know, I'm, I'm a two-time national champion. You know, I won two national championships yeah, out in the States. Game winning goal? So yeah, I scored oh. a game winning goal in the final. Okay. Um, you know, my name was out there, you know, in the US soccer game you ask people about you know Jacoby World they'll know who that is and for that reason due to my background Up Next Academy has a very 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 wide network and for that reason we're able to open a lot of different doors but beyond that when people go out to the states you know it's it's a it's a long journey you're going to be out there for in some cases we have clients that have an eight-year journey out in the states and 
you know, during that, whether it be four to eight years, you're going to need a support network. You're going to need people that are in your corner, that have been through the process before, understand the difficulties and the challenges of that step and can kind of help walk you through that. And that's exactly what we do at Armies Academy. The main thing that we're focused on is we want to ensure that our clients feel supported throughout their entire journey in the States. And if you talk to any of our clients, they always talk about how supported they felt throughout the process. As Up Next Academy, as a company, our unique selling point is A, you know, my background, and because of my background, the doors that we can open, but B, the fact that through us, you're gonna have a support network for the next however many years of your life. What lessons have you learned from football that you could apply to your everyday life? Yeah, that's a good question. I say never give up. That's, that's the met, that's yeah. short and sweet, never give up. Me personally, I think hard work. I think hard work beats talent. So like, when talent doesn't work hard, so yeah, I think that's, hard work comes first before anything. Like, if you don't, if you don't want to put in the work, then, Football's not a sport for you. Okay, cool. I'm a 16 year old, yeah? Why am I gonna go to America if I'm gonna be a pro, man? Like, why? why should I go to America as a, as a 16 year old? I think that's one of the hardest parts because if you're gonna try and be a pro, you have to be of the mindset that you're gonna be a pro, right? Oh, okay, C can we do that? And But can we cut? Can we do the cut the crap version as well, man? Dead no, this is facts, but, but I feel like it's hard to tell a 16 year old you're not gonna be a pro because mm. as you know, if you were 16, and someone came and told you, oh, okay, you're not going to make it. People mm. are going to say, I'm going to be the one that makes it. So I think it's important to, to validate those feelings and the fact that like, yeah, I understand the mentality that you're in, but now you've got to look at the statistics. That's mm. the key. If you're a 16 year old, the reason why you should go to America is because the reality is that you're probably not going to be a pro. Unfortunately, there it is. as hard it is, it, it is to hear, the reality is and the statistics show 0.00 something percent of players are actually making it to the pro game. If you're in a room, with 200 kids, less than one of you are actually gonna be a pro, right? Yeah. So the other 199 players have to have some sort of plan. If I don't make it, what am I gonna do? And again, this is not to say that the US is for everybody, right? You're gonna to have to move across the world. It's a huge step, it's risky, it's scary. But for those people that have that drive to you know, continue playing football, continue their career, and, and also give themselves that natural backup plan, right? It's the fact that because you're at a university, it doesn't mean that you're gonna take a step back in your football. You're still gonna try and make it as a pro, but by the fact that you're in a university, you have that natural backup plan yeah. of that education. So if you are a pro, fantastic, and we're happy for you. But for the 99.9% .9 of people that aren't gonna be a pro, this is one of the best, if not the best opportunity that you can look at yeah. once you finish your footballing career in the UK. We've only got five minutes, lads. Then we're going to get going. I thought you'd have been a sprinter with your yeah, me too. Oh. I'm out of breath already. I've run all the way there back. I haven't been chilling in Dubai for six months. Oh, please. See, this is real helping out. Yeah, we're Ooh. 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 Love that. If he starts wide, it's a good ball. Just keep it simple. All they're looking for, I'm telling you now, guys, the coaches in America are looking, can you play, can you make the right decision? Football's about decisions. If players in Division 2 who are as good as players in the Premiership with a ball at the feet can ping it just as well, can dribble just as well, can defend just as well, but what he can't do is make the right decisions. The same two teams will go out as finished, but in 10 minutes, there's gonna be a lot more subs. The biggest thing that helped change this client acquisition system is by making micro commitments. Now, what a micro commitment is, is it's getting someone to make a small commitment to you before asking for a bigger commitment. So, if you want someone to sign and get their child to go all the way over to America, that's a huge commitment. Now, where most people go wrong is they'll approach a cold audience and try to get them straight away, hey, look, go to America. They're never gonna do that. So instead, we first make our touch point at either a trial day or we present at a school. Then after that, we get them on an initial call where we look at all their video footage, we make sure that they are actually uh, someone that can go over to America. 
Then we get on another call. Then we have one more call before actually going for the close. Hey, who does this for their clients though? That's, that's what I wanna know. Find me someone who does this. Now the reason that that's so important is because nobody's gonna make a big jump. Something I say in sales all the time, I say trying to get someone to close without first making those micro commitments is like walking up to a girl in the bar and just trying to lips them straight away. Yeah, they don't know you yet. We gotta do the micro uh, commitments. Firstly, find out their name, talk to them for a bit, maybe spend the evening with them, go on a second date. The more commitment someone makes to you, the more likely they are to make that big commitment when you go for the close. So, anyone that's trying to sign clients, please, please bear that in mind, especially if what you're selling is high ticket. People need more touch points than just one email and then a 30 minute sales call to convert, if it's something that's high commitment. Man. How do you feel like that went? I got some merch, man. That's, I'm happy. No, it went really well, man. Good turnout, man. I'm proud of. I'm proud of Jacob and, and everything that he's that he's built. It's definitely impressive. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to get everyone in real life. So it's flattening just a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jake, what did you think about the Art Next Academy showcase event today? Yeah, I thought it was a good standard. Uh, there are a lot of good players here. The coaches are great, and it's just a good chance to like showcase your ability in the flesh as well as like, doing it in highlight rooms and stuff. What interests you about this US option? Uh, I think it's just a chance to like uh, not only improve my studies but also you know play football every day at a high level with high facilities and you know not only like improve my, my footballing ability but also like uh, a chance to improve my studies as well. 100%. Thank you very much. Marty, what did you think about the Admix Academy Showcase event uh, today? I feel like it was really good, it was run well. The coaches were excellent as well, which makes it even better when the coaches are good and able to teach you. And the cities were nice and it was also good to see the level of people that are interested, not just like for myself, but for the coaches to see that there's quite a few people that are good, interested in going to America and doing the scholarship out there. It was good to see 100%. One thing I do want to say is that helping to sign clients where the client has to agree to send their child over to America is one of the most difficult things you can do. It's one of the biggest commitments you can make. The fact that we can help those guys get clients means that in our own business and with agencies and coaches, consultant businesses, that is what makes it so easy for us. It's like we've trained in the trenches. This has been one of our clients for maybe three years now. Um, we've helped them to sign over 135 clients. Um, it's all very high ticket, it's all very high commitment, um, but that is testament to how strong and secure and bulletproof our systems are. So if you think that the client acquisition might not work for, for your particular business or we don't quite know how to get clients for yours, consider the fact that we can work with with this business where literally we're getting people to not only part ways with a lot of money but also um, do a, 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 a big process in the fact of sending their kids over to America consider that to mean that whatever business you've got it's not gonna be a problem for us man our systems are bulletproof where do you hope to be in the next five years next five years I see him playing for my country and like in the Prem, in the Prem, that's why I say I want to be. What country is that? Somalia. Six. Somali land, but yeah, same thing. And where do you hope to be in the next five years? Five years. Hopefully, I want to play for my country, Tunisia. Um, and I want to be playing at some sort of professional level. Uh, obviously, highest I can, but some sort of professional level. Uh, that is my career, my full-time thing. Cool. And what are you going to do to make that happen? Uh, really just putting myself out there, you know what I mean, go to every trial, attend every session, attend every match, you know what I'm saying, no cheating, that's pretty much, pretty much the, the two main things, just hard work and consistency, boring but it works.